Excellent. Thanks for staying with us. We're talking about private education, and Rowan Williams and myself are here in the studio. Next up is Advertech, which of course has been around a long time and operates in that space. Tertiary education, secondary education, which means high school, university, and then a bit of placement activity. Market cap is 10 billion rand. I think it's 9.99 or something, yes. but 10 is a good rounding amount. Price earnings ratio is 25.8 and the dividend yield 1.77%. I was looking at it like when we first started doing hot stocks, I had some notes that I'd kept. At that point, it had a market cap of $2 billion, uh, right. dollar, two billion rand, and it's basically gone up fivefold. Yeah, so this has been a long-standing play on the, the private education sector, actually a, a lot uh, before... Uh, decades Cara. and decades. Yeah, and yeah. they... Um, initially acquired the, the Crawford uh, brand and business and actually it was a separate sort of listing and resources and then education and they actually merged it so kind of three legs uh, the, 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 the school education, the tertiary education and the, the resourcing but has been a phenomenal success story yeah. uh, has grown uh, very strongly a bit more conservative I think in its approach uh, than Caro has been maybe uh, they got a bit of a wake-up call because yeah. there was a somewhat hostile takeover offer by Caro which fell Advertech. aside, yeah. That's right, but I think that sort of litter is a bit of a fuse <laughs> under the board Got in terms going, of yeah. expansion. So the recent expansion has been much more significant, yes. both by acquisition and uh, more capital uh, projects. Yeah. So, I mean, they always had the Crawford schools and then they added other bits to yes. it, like Trinities and so on and so forth. Yes. In addition to that, though, they expanded aggressively in the tertiary space, which means a Rosebank College, Varsity College and a couple of other brands, yeah. which well, has really, yeah. really worked well because just as they were really significantly expanding their facilities and their offering in that space, we had the influx of more kids with university passes that couldn't quite necessarily mm -hmm. afford to go full degree program. Also Vega is another yes, brand that's there. Right. Plus then the dramas happening at the state campuses with the Fees Must Fall yeah. campaigns over a period of two, three years, leading lots of cautious parents mm. to say, look, I'd rather send my kids to the private institution because they got accredited, validated that's degree right, anyway, yeah. and I know the context is gonna be quieter. Yeah, so it, it quite significant barriers to entry to get those uh, courses accredited. So once mm. you have that, you've got the capacity. Interesting, and we mentioned a big fixed cost base in terms of the facilities and what we saw in the last set of results yeah. is with an increase in the enrollment numbers, as you've uh, described, a significant increase in the operating margin and yeah, the, the profitability of, of that sector. So I think uh, that segment has the potential to be as large uh, as the schooling segment, which, which makes it still yeah, quite... You can see the numbers are starting to equalize. Yeah. And then there, coming back to that technology point you made earlier, this is where there's a lot of scope to enroll further numbers of mm -hmm. students, but to stream them into use of online uh, resources in order to better manage their capacity issues. Yeah, that's right. And uh, yeah, leverage, uh, as we said, leverage yeah. the space and the, the IP. Yeah. And, and uh, also it's a much lower cost form of delivery. So and that could keep the cost down, keep the prices down and keep the affordability yeah. up. Turning back briefly to the secondary schooling, high schooling thing though, they did a number of acquisitions of things mm. like the Centurus Colleges and so on, you know, where, which is more at the high end of the yes. market. So that's why it seemed to have worked better. That's where there's kind yeah. of lots I, of... I think it's slightly more defensive, obviously, yeah. at the upper end. You've got uh, people that can afford and it's a priority for them to mm. send their children to private schooling and will continue to yeah. pay uh, the fees that, that are demanded. They also have expanded into the Western Cape. They were sort of more Gauteng yes. strong, yes. but uh, now more uh, national, I think, which is also very positive. They had a very strong uh, CapEx program or announced 3 billion rand, and I think they, mm. that's uh, bearing fruit and we're seeing that in very good uh, n numbers. Okay, we're running out of time. we still got to talk about Pembry. So as far as this one's concerned, the share chart came up. One's got to be hot about this. I mean, yeah. Roy Douglas doing a great job. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, I think a reasonable valuation given the, the earnings growth yeah. and earnings growth prospects are hot.